Hi, I'm Sean Gannett, and this is Minute Math. And today we're going to learn about solving multi step equations. And we're going to solve each equation. So, if I was given this equation here minus 10n plus 3 times 8 plus 8n equals, ne uh, equals a negative 6 times n minus 4. Okay? So, what I want to do from here, I'm going to simplify both sides of the equal sign. So, uh, what I need to do is distribute the 3 across both sides of that parentheses. So I have negative 10n here, distribute that 3. 3 times 8 is 24, and 3 times 8n is a 24n. We'll do the same thing with a negative 6. A negative 6 times n is a negative 6n, and negative 6 times a minus 4 is a positive 24. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to simplify again, keep going on each side of the equation sign individually. The negative 10 and 24n come out to be a 14n. And we add a 24, bring that down. So we combine our n's there. On the left-hand side, there's nothing that we can, can combine. Okay, so we have minus 6n and plus 24. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring my variables to the left and my numbers to the right. I'm going to add a 6n to both sides right here. And I was attracted 24 to both sides. That leaves me with six, uh, 14n uh, plus 6n, which is a 20n, is equal to, now notice this, right? 24 minus 24 cancels out. That's just a 0. So we have 20n equals a 0. So now from there, that's what's kind of left here. We need to divide by 20 to both sides. That leaves us n by itself here, n by itself, and 0 divided by 20 is 0. So our final answer here is just n equals 0. So let's recap. We're given negative 10n plus 3 times 8 plus 8n equals negative 6 times n minus 4. I had to distribute. Uh, to both parentheses there, giving me uh, 3 times 8 being 24, and 3 times 8 n being 24 n, and negative 6 times n being negative 6 n, and negative 6 times a negative 4 to be a positive 24. From there, I simplified, I, kept, I combined my like terms uh, that stayed on each side of the equal sign, so the only ones that did that were the negative 10 n and the 24, which gave me a 14 n. From there, I brought all my variables to the left and my numbers to the right. That gave me a 20 n equals 0. Okay, now everything kind of canceled out. So now we'll have 20n equals 0, divided by 20 both sides, you've got n by itself, and so n equals 0 is my final.